Hi, today we're going to be calibrating pH on the YSI Professional Plus Meter. And the purpose of that is to make sure uh, we have it properly calibrated every day before we go out to the field. And pH imp is important in determining the water quality. Basic cleaning steps, we want to wash the probe with distilled water and the container cup. I'm going to take out the sponge since we don't need that anymore. That's just to keep the probe from being damaged, keep the environment moist. I'm going to rinse out the cup a little bit. And then we're going to rinse out the probe. And we have two standards that we're going to be testing. One is pH 7, which is in yellow. And the second one is going to be pH 10, which is blue. And so it's important to know what water you're testing. Because most of the range of the water we were, we were testing out in the field was between, seven, between six to eight, actually. So we're gonna take a little bit of pH seven, put it in a container cup. And rinse it with a probe. And ideally, you want to do this three times, trying to make sure that the bubbles are all out of the the container otherwise they'll affect your readings now we want to fill the cup just enough so it covers the bulb of the pH meter the bulb and the holes right over there so let's put that there. next we're going to turn on our meter our meter is going to show the run screen we want to Calibrate instead. We're going to go down and select ISC2 uh, pH. That's where our port is at. And now we want to record what we see. Our calibration value is reading at 7.01, which is good. So now we can accept that calibration. We'll press enter, and it'll say press cal to finish or press escape to board. We don't want to do that now. What we want to do is record again the actual readings post calibration. It shows ready for point two. Once we're done with that, we press Accept Calibration. Again, it'll ask us for Press Cal to finish, Press Escape to abort, or Ready for Point 3, which we're not. Now we want to validate our meter. So now we have pH buffer of 7. And again, you want to pour enough solution so that you can cover the bulb as well as the holes. So we're showing you the pH of 7, and if this is an actual sample, we can actually just start recording. So we'll press enter and start logging. And it'll keep logging until I actually press stop. When we finish logging, let's take our probe out. Again, rinsing out our probes to keep it clean. And now that I no longer need the probe, place the sponge in the container. We'll secure the cup to the container and now we can power down our device. The reason why we want to calibrate the pH for the meter is it's uh, part of the SOP. You'll need to check it at least minimum of twice a day. One be in the beginning of your shift and ideally at the end of the shift. And once you're out in the field, having a proper calibrated pH meter on uh, this machine is important. So it will provide you much more accurate results. 
Uh, some of the water, as I said before, we're going to be testing pH between in the range of 6 to 8. And pH is important for uh, aquatic, uh, aquatic and biotic uh, organisms uh, that live in the ocean that we're testing, or fresh water. I want to test for ion concentration as well. So if there are more metals inside the water body, it would show up on the meter as being a high acid range, which would be toxic to some uh, form of life.